You would never know she was done. Look at that now, would and you? That looks good. Well done. I didn't prep it out. I I did all my work and yeah? then just went you know, for it. Because I don't know when I'm gonna paint it. Yeah. So you would never know. You would never know. Excuse me. You would never know. Awesome. And I never altered those windows. Yeah. The the, the windows where the uh, the factory we, we took that that they didn't change. So you didn't change the angle on that post punch. The only window that had to be cut was the front windshield. Yeah. Yeah. So the rest of the windows I had all done green. Uh, like a 60s. So when you cut your garnish moldings, two pieces of tape? When you cut your garnish moldings, two pieces of tape, exact same way? Well done. <laughs> well, I carry my, my leftovers with me most places. So this is like hinges and, yeah. uh, and door posts. And then That's cool. I, I kept the tape, the tape, you know. Yeah. And then, uh, and then the garnish moldings. That was pretty basic, wasn't it? So, yeah. it real simple. Yeah. Real simple. That was a good way of doing it. And I tell people, well, we didn't even use the measuring tape. I says, after we welded, we thought, well, let's see if we're close. So. It's got three. Are you, are you running all three carp in this thing all the time? That's cool. So, let me tell you the history of yeah. this car. So this car, a gentleman came over from China in 1932. And in 1933, he bought this car brand new. It apparently it cost him $425. So he came over on a steamship from China in 32. I don't know if I would have wanted. I, I'd go out in anything. Good thing it wasn't the Titanic. The ocean. Yeah, it wasn't the Titanic. <laughs> and then in 1948, he sold it to his oldest son and traded it for a typewriter. Seems like a good deal. <laughs> a typewriter. Well, I don't know. I, I mm. you know, I googled uh, typewriters and. 1948, a typewriter is worth $400, almost as much Are as you a new car. Wow. And then that older brother sold it to the, his younger brother that I bought it from. And he is 103 years old and he still drives today. Are you serious? I'm serious. Wow. So. I've known where the car was for 35 years, but he would never sell it to me. In 2000, uh, I offered him $10,000 for the car, and he was what, you know, 93, 83, I don't know. No, no, I'm gonna do something with it someday. And that was in 2000, in 2018, he's 98 years old. Yeah. He decides he's gonna sell it to me. So, uh, but he's, he, he's got to make his money back. He says, I got, I want to double my money. We won't go there, uh, what I paid, but it wasn't a whole lot of money. So back in the, uh, 56, he started to hot rod this car. And he said, I used to read, uh, these car paperback books, yeah. which we probably know as uh, Rotter's Digest. The little, little tiny ones, yeah. Little I got a few of those. Yeah. So, so anyway, they, uh, it's got a fifth, 1957 old rear end. When I got the car, I had no idea what it was. I had Ford guys say, oh no, that's a nine inch Ford. And the Dodge <laughs> guys, oh no, that's an eight and three quarter rear end. It's got a pumpkin on it like this. So, as being a nostalgia era crack car, this is the real deal. Sure. Um, the interior was done in 1961. Full interior, the seats, yeah. the carpeting, the roof, which I took off because it just disintegrated. I have a, uh, a new roof panel going to go on it. But a 
a full interior. He said I had to. I thought I was going to have to go out and rob a bank to pay for it. And I said, 1961. What it would have it cost? He says, 375 dollars. That seems like a lot back then, doesn't it? Doesn't it? I don't know. Uh, full interior seats, door panels, roof. Carpeting, all well, kinds it's not a lot. Stitched. It's not a lot, three hundred dollars. But but he said he brought home good money. He's, yeah. He brought home twenty five dollars a week <laughs> in nineteen sixty one. There you go. So it it held up pretty good. But in nineteen sixty four, he decided to store the car. And it, it was stored from about sixty four to nineteen or two thousand and eighteen. This was in the garage of a house I rented for almost 20 years. Oh, you got to see the car every day then? I used to chain my Harleys to the front bumper. I thought, you want my bike, you gotta take the car with it. There you go. So, the motor is a 1958 283. Right on. Tri-powered, all yeah. three carburetors work. It's got a two-speed power glide. This motor was C-solid. It took me almost six months to get it to turn over. I, I would trickle tranny fluid over the dry train with an eight foot bar and slowly, you know, tweak it. And I'd yeah. come back a week later and do a little more. But it took me about, and then I had something like 185, 195 compression. I thought, this is the motor that, you know, it's going to run. And um, I rebuilt the carbs and. Uh, it, it broke my heart to put an alternator on it because I this understand. is the real deal. Yeah. I mean, I, I did. I wouldn't even use wire connectors when I rewired this car because if I'm going to use wire connectors, well, then maybe I better put it at a height that's front end to make it better. And no, so I I would twist the wires, solder them, tape them. I know where you're at. And uh, I, it was so so important to keep. The history of this yeah. car alive, I, you know, Nerf bars. Yeah, exactly. I like right? this. This is cool. That's Nerf cool. bars. The the that they were on this car. Um, the f uh, steering column, the steering box, the front axle is out of an Econoline, nineteen sixty one Econoline. She's the and real deal. I said, well, why did you do that? Well. We went into the village of Newmarket. We took a brand new pickup truck and drove it down the road. He says, the chances of getting caught, he says, you may not get caught for a year driving a stolen vehicle back then. <laughs> that <laughs> was the parts vehicle. You know, you caught for a year. No, it looks so, good. So, I know the car's never been apart from the firewall back. The running boards have never been off. The fenders have never been See off. See that? He just kicked them with these, with these boots. I, it's a car. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. it's used, abused, and cruised. Used, abused, and cruised, and it's got a and it's got a tow. Uh, I just did that last uh, week, just okay. because this is my gas tank. Yeah. And you know, I needed a uh, in my wife's uh, handicap, so yeah. You know, this is quarter inch wall. Yeah. And I did it between the frame rails. If you run into me, uh, you know, I'm not going to worry because. Before it was just like an old Pinto. It would have just folded and and we did a Pinto boom. in it, and it would have folded. Well, I, yeah. So no, it looks good. I stripped the car two years ago, and I did one rust repair. Yeah. One rust repair in the right front fender, about two tunies wide. That was it. There was uh, plastic in the car. I couldn't understand why. I took about two gallons of plastic out of the car. And so it was probably bonded up in 58, 59. Now, I'm not sure if they had sanding boards and I'm not what sure they either. had or just I know their sandpaper. I, I know their grinders were massive. You know what I mean? Oh, they I've never got had, one of them. They never yeah, had yeah, any yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Two-hander. Um, yeah, so it was full bondo. I don't, I don't understand why. I've got pictures of it stripped down, and uh, so I, I started that fender and went all the way around. I knew there was a contour missing on this car, and it's the contour right here on the fenders. So it's much like this contour yeah. down here. 
So by the time I get to the last fender, I find out why they they, they deleted it. Deleted it. Uh, bundled it in. Yeah. Uh, the right front fender's been hit. It's full of lead. It's full of uh, brazing. It, 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 was just, it was just a mess. And probably the proper way would have been to cut it out, uh, build a whole new piece in the yeah. fender. But, uh, so I, so then uh, I, I went back and got rid of that lip or that little contour. And it's yep. only about a quarter inch wide. Even the gauges in the car, there's uh, other than my oil amp and uh, water. Uh, they're the original gauges that were in the car. Right on. Yeah, those are all the you know. Uh, as Stuart, they they oh, even yeah. had a uh, power gauge in it. Why? This is a, a homemade shifter in it. And so the shifter is stainless, it goes down. Yeah. They bent it and it goes through a couple wheel nuts that are welded to the floor. <laughs> then it goes across and then and then it, it goes down to the linkage. It does the work. And the, the reason job. they did that, if I had to put a, a, a shifter in this car, it, it would end up uh, it would end up uh, right here right between yeah. my legs so so I left that it, it's a mystery shifter don't lock in you know it just works off the transmission it don't have any indents so you don't want to be doing any speed shifting so yeah so now um, from your show uh, from the chop, been all, I've had offers all over the world. They gotta have this car because you chopped it. Are you serious? I'm serious. Wow. I got two ridiculous offers from uh, Australia, and no, it's not for sale. It, it never will be. Not you know. Not it, in your it's time, my eh? Baby. It's your baby. It's my baby. I I've wanted this car for almost 35, 40 years, and he would never sell it to me, and so. The, the, I, what I will say, the chop does look right on it. You you could not, you know, you wouldn't um, be sure, but we know for sure. If you know, if you walked up on it, you wouldn't know for sure. No, no. You know and, what I'm saying? People don't yeah. even notice the uh, third hinge. They think it's Ford because there's no third hinge ah, in there now. Right. So uh, a lot of people think I've. I had to lay awake at night at, at the at the at that uh, motel we were at because I was thinking, geez, I'm going to cut the hinge out of that car. I had to, like, you know what I mean? Like, I had to kind of figure it out as we were going, but it worked out good. Well, this was the cleanest and neatest job I've ever seen. I had people at the show approach me. We hadn't even well put any tax in right. there. And it was in. Yeah. And I had a, a, a police officer friend come up to me and thought it was all welded and, and ground down. He says, wow, look at that. I says, I, I, I says, it's just sitting in there. I says, we haven't even <laughs> yeah, anyway, yeah. yet. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so, and I know people at home now, are doing fans of yours, yeah. that have chopped their, their vehicles and sliding them down, you know. Yeah. You made it look so simple and we did it and you did it in what, four hours? Yeah, it was pretty it was who pretty does, good. Who does a chop in four hours? I'm I'm not sure. Well, you do, but I'm not sure. It went well. Like I was quite I went well, like I was yeah, happy with this. Yeah. I was just happy with the what we took out of it, the window come down the exact same as your you know, around with your oh, with oh, the rest of it. You know what? The, the, the if, back it, window it, and the side windows are in line now. If we'd have cut that out, I you know what kind of time we'd be into? putting oh, that yeah, back in there yeah, like yeah. we've been into quite yeah, a bit of time yeah. eh and uh, it just seemed like the the right thing to do the other funny thing about this i have a, a, a back a rear view mirror yeah that what was in this car and i and, and people oh you gotta get rid of that when's the last time you seen it oh wow <laughs> five different views i see out every window as clear yeah, as too, can be that's too funny yeah yeah, yeah. So uh, that's back in your disco days. And these the flames, like I, I primered the car. Yeah. It's in black primer. My flames 
are rattle cans. It didn't cost me twenty dollars to play. It cost me more in tape than well, I went to the dollar store for my paint. A rattle can nowadays, man, gets expensive. Oh yeah, it, it, that's <laughs> ridiculous. That's when I went to the yeah. dollar store for the, the the paint. I was just noticing your fan. That's quite a fan. Well, that's quite a fan. Oh, it's plastic. Yeah, that's quite a fan. Now, I put a new rat in this two weeks ago just because the rat that was in it was 90 years old. And that's an, uh, an aluminum rat for a 32 Ford. Okay. And uh, when I got it all together, the because my motor sits a little lower than the rat, it would hit the bottom uh, rat hose. So uh, I had a vapor wart lock. I uh, got rid of it because I was ready to put a second fan on it, an electric fan, and realized I had a vapor lock in Moncton, got rid of the vapor lock, and it, it's worked fine. It Perfect. It doesn't overheat. Perfect. I put an extra set of headlights on the front uh, just because uh, the, these are 32 Chevy headlights. Yeah. And it's got 39 Chevy taillights. Yeah. But I put a set of extra, I, I call them moose catchers. I like that. Because, uh, well, I don't know if I like it yet, but. Well, it uh, doesn't matter, I like my it. My headlights <laughs> will shine, you know, 100 feet away, but I, I don't have anything in front of the car. Yeah. So, you know, that's a Harley light bar for the, okay. the headlights, and I just flipped it around backwards, and. Uh, I, I put them on just because I need to see, you know, I, and just speaking about mooses, and, uh, or is it moose? Not Why mooses. Not? Well, there could be a bunch of them. That's an Ontario thing, you know, there could maybe be a bunch it's mooses, yeah, yeah. moose here. Yeah. So we were, uh, you know, we've seen uh, signs all the way along and uh, our last exit is, uh, you know, the GPS goes off uh, 500 meters away and, and then moose run across Are the you road. Wow. You know, you're, you know, you're doing that, that uh, smoke show with the brakes and yeah. everybody around you. Yeah, so that's the only thing we've seen. The, the, I don't know if it's Plymouth or a Dodge, we did videos on the fenders of that years ago. Like when we first started doing videos, we did uh, videos on doing the brush repair on the fenders and the... So I think it's, it's funny, that Pinto that you did... What's that? That Pinto that you did, I think, was his father's. Yes. Yeah, that was just kind of cool. He did he smash that car up. He did a good job fixing it, man. Like that car was smashed. Oh, was it? Really? Yeah, he he had he something happened. He got got into an accident, um, and um, he actually gave me some doors uh, to do some work on the front fender and a door or something like that, but. He smashed that car and he fixed it. He did a good job. He, they got a, his brother's got a 77. Excellent. Rand, uh, uh, no, no, no. Uh, what's a Ford El Camino? <laughs> oh, Ranchero. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. He, you know, he took six inches out of them because he would stick out about that far from the, the fender. And took, you know, six inches out of it and narrowed it and it did a nice roll pan. Beautiful car. Wow. We seen it last night. This is the exact same car as Way to Heaven. Just a little different front end, but the body and the doors and all that stuff are exactly the same. Cool. Looks good. Looks real good. Looks good. Awesome. I seen this guy's car before. He was at the car show. BGN. It's quite the quite the decals on the trunk, oh, isn't it? Quite, quite a job. Huh? Is that is that Gerald or You paint that on? See? Paint that on? Yeah? Well done. That's painted, eh? Oh, well done. Nice lines in it, eh? Nice taping. And that's, a, that's a lot of work. You got that right. Then you follow her around. If you look at this one and walk around the car, she stares at you. <laughs> you made sure of that, eh? <laughs> that's cool. All the skulls, everything red is all skulls. I didn't even notice that. Well done. It's a hurt. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, did you ever play Hearts? Uh, yeah, for tell the game. Yeah, I'd love to yeah. tell you Hearts. Yeah. Yeah. So, no, you don't want any of them, and you don't want that. Is that yeah, that's that thirteen. Card is thirteen, and it's yeah. called the bitch. There you go. Cool. Yeah, you built the bottom of the left fender. For yeah, we did. We did videos on that. Yeah. You had smashed that at one time, did you not? Know Pardon? You smashed it or something yeah, like that to do an accident yeah, or something? Yeah, the band, I placed the door, the fender. Yeah? Yeah. So, do you know who your neighbors are up there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, for Even sure. The dash was yeah. squished. The yeah. dash was squished in, yeah. And is this, they call this something? The Canning Mountain. The Canning it's, Mountain? It's yeah. basically a hill. Well, you know, because well, Hamilton's got it. Well, you know, you either live on the mountain or you live in the city. And, uh, would that be called the mountain? You call that a mountain, would you? Yeah. It's, it's not really Actually, a mountain. Actually, right, probably yeah. is Hamilton. Hamilton yeah. is I don't know, no, no. They, these guys, uh, no, it would be uh, like one third of the height of that mountain. Okay. It's yeah, probably it's close. more like half or so. It depends on where you look at it from. We're going to the look off when we leave. It's right from no. Niagara Falls right through it. Yeah, it's make a logo. Niagara Falls is one of those. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. Zeke's not the real name, is it? No. <laughs> Zeke. Oh, I love that name. Yeah, 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 yeah. That detail. That looks good on the. Yeah, it does. You know, the contrast with the black and everything. That looks good. Real flames. I like traditional. Hot rods have. Flames. Oh, you're a hot rod guy. Yep. It's a good looking car though. Good looking car. It is a good looking car. And not too many yeah. of them. It's a good looking car. I thought you, they say they only built 203 of these bodies with 396 in it. Okay, so this is an, is an original 396 yeah. car? Yeah. yeah. Was that your wife's van? Yeah. Oh, the dash is cool. And, and if I didn't see that front end and I just looked down the side, I would say that was an impound. Did you do the little flying eyeball painting? Wow, you did an awesome job. Well That's done. What it is. It's an Impala. Nice little dash. Like you just gonna, you know, oh, is it? Oh, he was on the dash. It's That's good. If it's American, it would have like a 400. Yeah. It'd be a Bonnie Do you want to take these guys in for a little? You want to go in and take a look at some cars in the barn there? I show, actually, there's a couple cars in the shop. Show you what, we, what we're working on that stuff. But you had no problems with your car whatsoever? No problems with it whatsoever at any time? No. No hard luck stories? <laughs> no. No drama. Oh huh? my 